322 zone, known as the traditional zone. Um, what it's really good at doing is uh, stopping a consecutive um, roll down the field in really strong windy conditions, or if you know that you're playing a team that has not very strong um, throwers, it's very effective. Um, so the idea is to not allow consecutive throws down the field, but what you are allowing is the lateral motion on the side, and that comes from the formation of the cup. You have um, three defensive players around in a cup. You've got the point, who is on the person, um, on whichever side of the field you're on. On this particular side, we're forcing middle, so it's this point, the middle, middle position, and the off point position. Um, what I really like about um, this formation of cup, rather than a traditional kind of circular cup, is it allows these two to work together really well um, from side to side. They don't have to do any kind of motion like this. It's a very effective position when you're going across the field, because um, really this is the only motion that you're going to be doing. Um, uh, the short deep position is works in a couple different ways. In this, in this instance, they're going to be kind of filling in as a fourth handler of sorts, working with the middle middle, telling them, um, I need you to shift left or shift right. So a lot of communication between the short deep and the middle middle. The deep deep is also a big communicator in this, um, communicating to the, the wings as to whether they need to attack, whether they need to stay back. Um, they're making that decision. The, the deep deep is helping them make that decision. Um, the, um, what is really effective for um, the defense is trying to, well, actually, <laughs> for the wings, what is good for a good wing is, is someone that makes good decisions. And the wing's job is to decide whether to attack that throw coming up across here, or to stay back and try to attack a person coming in this, uh, in this area. And you really, sometimes it's a very hard decision to make, and that's where you rely on the help from the sideline. Um, what uh, what the what is good for offense is if they can throw things over the cup, and that's a really nice way to break into this power position. They're really trying to get the disc in this middle of the field in that power position, and so mostly that is what you're left with doing, um, trying to break the cup that way, or a quick swing moving it quickly across the field to a power position, um, a popper in this area. What kind of plays do you put in the different, uh, different positions? You said good decisions on the wings. Yeah, that's, that's a great that's a great question. In the cup, generally you want your most athletic players who work together as a team. Um, they're going to be doing a lot of running, and so the the object of the offense is to keep that cup moving from side to side. So you're going to end up doing a lot of running. Um, the short deep also has to be quite athletic in order to stay with the cup as a as a unit with that cup um, and covering. Um, people coming in from all directions, really. The deep deep tends to be one of your taller, um, good in the air kind of players because things are obviously going to be coming up deep to that player. The wings um, are also um, good good at knowing their positions. What's a really effective position is to have your back to the sideline so you can get a good full view of the field uh, in, that, in that position. Where would you integrate new players? Like, where would you put, you have six veterans and a new player? What's a good position for a new player to play? Mm -hmm. I, I like to put them on wing because there's a defined space with your back to that to that wing, and there is a defined um, motion, which is the up the, the up and down sideline motion. And I find that um, not, it's not an easy position by any means because you do have to have really good decision making skills and know exactly how fast you are to get to that. So that comes at the next level, I think. But yeah, for beginners to to just get that motion, um, at the same time the cup. Um, is, is a nice position to put them in um, if you have a leader within that cup that can say, stay with me, you know, we're sticking together. <laughs>